Hello everyone, quite a different video today. For the past two months, I've been creating a passive tabletop role-playing game that's played traditionally like rolling dice, except we're going to be using simulated dice and that'll be happening on Discord. The link for that is below. But all of the items like the, the tools, the weapons, the loot, the property, the pets, even the skills are actually digital NFTs that are minted permanently on the WAX blockchain. To put this simply, you 100% own all of the things that would normally be written on paper as your tabletop RPG character sheet. Uh, you own them separately in, in, a, in a digital wallet. Uh, you can do whatever you like with them. You can trade them. You can sell them. Um, there's more of these assets to be earned uh, by playing the game. You can simply buy some more. Uh, most of important of all, you, you can actually sell those and you can trade them with friends. Wait, what's an NFT? It's just a digital token that represents your spear or magic helmet. It's like a digital trading card where the, the mint number one of your helmet or of, of a helmet is worth more than mint number 1000. I have a magical helmet. Let's try and get through this quickly for once without <laughs> too many shenanigans. He took his magical helmet. And no, okay, just no. Am I in this video? Well, you are now. Let's talk about the story. The Underpunks go way back to 2019. A lot of people who, who already subscribe to this channel will, will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the Underpunks. Um, it, it does go back a fair way. It goes back to 2019. So there are some people who came later who, who may not be overly familiar, weren't there when we were actually playing that, that particular role-playing game. But most of you are aware of the, um, the Cyberpunk Bookshelf diorama, which, I, which was one of the very first streams that I ever uh, cried. I think it was like number three or something. The third stream I ever did was to start making this little book nook um, this little bookshelf diorama, it, it, it hides in between the books on your shelf. And I decided to do a cyberpunk one because that's something I'm a fan of. Um, that very quickly expanded into a full city block. Um, we ended up playing the original cyberpunk 2020 role-playing game, uh, using that as a background. I started writing the Underpunk backstory in February of 2020. Um, and also during the stream, I started moving the diorama to a, to a video game engine using pixel art. I started creating cyberpunk inspired music and now all of this is coming together. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting it all permanently, the art, the music, the story, is all going to be permanently minted on the WAX blockchain technology uh, forever. Now, I realize that um, blockchain technology can, can do a lot of people's head in, the jargon around it. So I'm going to be trying to keep both the game and this video and all of the videos I do about the underpunks. Um, I'm going to be keeping that uh, as jargon free as I possibly can. Uh, so, but just warning. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to explain why I chose the WAX blockchain in the first place. So a lot of you might have heard of different NFTs selling for ridiculous prices and, and things like that, or some people just selling them for $1,000 and things like that. There are a lot of fees involved with uh, that are hidden behind those sales, which, which you don't know about. A lot of the gr big marketplaces that are being used at the moment uh, are built on what is called the Ethereum blockchain and just trying to transfer your coin on Ethereum um, it can cost anywhere from $15 to $100 depending on the time of day and what you're trying to do. The reason for that is it's based on a proof of work system. Um, this is the same system that Bitcoin uses. It doesn't scale very well. Um, and the, the, my, my most important reason for choosing WAX was to not choose a platform that uses proof of work. These use a lot of electricity. To validate a proof of work system, uh, a lot of people, thousands of people, have to compete to um, to win that 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 bit of coin that's available, the the incentive, the reward for mining in the first place. Um, so you get thousands of people competing. They're all using massive amount uh, massive amounts of electricity to do so, and only one person 
ends up winning it. That's one of my main reasons to uh, to choose WAX is to avoid a system that is un environmentally unfriendly, and that uh, is any at the moment any proof of work system. Uh, proof of stake is a different system, and WAX takes that one step further and uses a delegated proof of stake system. Basically, in order to validate the transactions that are happening on the blockchain, your sale of your helmet to, or your transfer of your helmet from, from you to your friend's account, uh, that transaction is validated on a proof of stake system by a very limited small number of uh, elected delegates. And those delegates um, simply have to have an amount of uh, wax, the coin, uh, staked to them or staked by themselves. So essentially it's like a pool, a guild, a pool, um, little groups that are kind of voted in and out um, that keep it secure. Um, it doesn't require massive amounts of electricity to solve some cryptic puzzle just to get the validation through. So most importantly there, uh, the second choice for using for choosing WAX is the low fees. The last thing I want to happen is for someone to, uh, you know, win, uh, or be playing the the underpunks role playing game on Discord, to to win some magical sword, and then if in order to sell it, it's going to cost more to transfer it than it is for that that sword is actually worth. And same if you're buying a sword, um, that you end up paying more in fees. So, the uh, choosing wax will just keep the fees just incredibly low. So that's important. So the Discord, the, again, the link for the Discord where all of the gameplay is happening. A lot of the gameplay doesn't all involve using an NFT, um, but the NFTs are definitely the main rewards and they are also the skills that unlock the different rooms. So you need to have that in, a, in your registered kind of wallet that you register when you first join the Discord and you can basically play the role-playing game. You play it very passively. Um, what I mean by that is it's, it's very chill. You don't have to uh, be active all the time. You can come in whenever you like and do your actions. Uh, most of the rooms have long cooldowns, so you don't have to stress about um, being there every second, being very present and actively at the table like you do in a normal role-playing game. So that's what I mean when I say a passive role-playing game. The Discord invite link um, is in the description of the video, and if the, if that for some reason that's not working, you can always go to underpunks.com, and that will have the latest invite link there as well. I should preface that we are currently in alpha, so it's just beginning, and we have a couple of different bits of gameplay at the moment. We are mining for some basic resources. We are mining for the for the shards, the kind of magical shards, which are essentially the measure of wealth in the system. Um, it's very dark with the underpunks. They live underneath a cyberpunk city, way, way down. They're, they're disconnected from that city. They live underground. There's no light, so light is wealth. So in terms of gameplay, uh, we have a mining system going on. We're starting to gather some of the resources. We've got a few NPCs starting to pop up. There is an exploring quest. There's a, people, a few people gathering for that. It's a very small, intimate community at the moment. And my aim there is to grow it quite organically. I, I, I don't want to do a flash in the pan kind of vaporware thing where I sell um, all of the NFTs and all of the properties with a promise that it's going to be there in 12 months. So this will be slowly uh, trickled out. Uh, with real gameplay in place uh, as we introduce each NFT. So the mining is currently active. If you own a mining tool, uh, they're currently less than $1 on WAX, um, so very easy to get into. Um, the value of that may change. Uh, currently, most of the mining tools are still held, held by my official Underpunks 55 account, and um, there are only 512 of those. Uh, so when, of course, when they're all sold, they, they go into the player's hands and they can charge whatever they like for them based on whether they've got any demand or value in the game. There are 10 other NFTs in production. Most of those are tools. The rewards for mining at the moment are shards, which is an, uh, going to be an animated musical NFT. So rather than just have an NFT that's associated with a piece of pixel art, 
the shards will also have music behind them and they'll be animated as well and they'll have different personalities for those as well again that's the measure of your wealth how many shards you have uh, will unlock certain things. It, it's just a measure of your hierarchy within the wealth system. Uh, there are more tools happening. Shovels will progress. The mines will upgrade. Uh, it will go to picks and it'll go to hammers and then start getting into machinery and stuff like that as the tools that you use. Uh, we are currently mostly mining rocks. There's a 1% there's a chance that you'll find a shard at the moment and some prizes still going on for the first person to find the very first shard, which is happening in the mine. And the rocks uh, are all have personalities. They're all different types of rocks and named, and they are being used to map out the the streets. So the streets in the underpunks um, don't have road signs. In actual fact, none of the underpunks can actually read that we know of. <laughs> so to to work out where you are, you just need very sensitive feet. Uh, the underpunks don't wear shoes. Um, and you know what street you're on based on what rock it's made of. So there are some additional resources coming for the mining. Um, we have one NPC uh, already handing out uh, a quest for some mining rewards. So it's kind of like a fetch re reward. That'll change at different times. So the value of different rocks will change uh, depending on what that NPC is requesting. They're like the road works. They're, they're building the road. So uh, at, the, at the moment, they're looking for the hideous rock. Uh, so if you happen to find a hideous rock, you can join one of the early exploration parties, which is another different type of gameplay. There are hidden quests everywhere. Like everything that I do, um, there's always a hidden puzzle that you don't know about it, pretty much just hidden all over the place. So I won't give any clues about that. And also don't bother about asking me questions about those in the Discord. Um, that's for, for, the, for the right person to get the right hunch and to actually follow up on that. Um, and put some effort in they may or may not get there but there, there are big rewards and prizes for for revealing or being the first to um to unlock those the roadmap for the underpunks um basically we've got mining in place that will expand of course into private sort of we're working in a communal mine at the moment so that'll expand into private mines the exploring is just starting to open up there'll be pets uh, or mounts that will be quite rare. More skills to come. They come in the form of uh, diplomas. Uh, farming, crafting, uh, weapons eventually will be coming. And then uh, the dungeons will start opening up. The ability to own property does actually translate into dungeons as well. So you could own um, anything from a, a crafting kind of related business uh, or you could own a dungeon, stuff like that. So more about that later. If you want to read uh, more information, there's a link in the description to the to the Medium uh, white paper if you, uh, if you want to follow that and follow along. Um, but the very first article there goes into a lot of details, um, that more detail than you'll find in this video about the underpunks. So that link is in the description. There's also a link in the description to the Atomic Hub official collection. That's where you can buy uh, the first shovels and, and, and skills at the moment. Um, we are pre-whitelisted, so still waiting for whitelisting to happen. And we need a few more NFTs and things up before I can get that happening. So you will get a, a red warning on uh, at the moment when you're trying to, to purchase these. Uh, warning you to, to do your own checks. But as long as you're buying from Underpunks 55... The, which is on the screen at the moment, uh, you're in the right place. I initially created this as some fun for my Patreon, so thank you to all those wonderful, wonderful people for your continued support. I hope everyone watching enjoys the game. You are all welcome. You do not need to be a Patreon in order to play the game. All you need is one of the official Underpunk shovels to be held in your registered account on Discord. I will get back to writing, coding and creating more art and music for the underpunks. Thank you for watching.